Hey, everybody. Great news. Chart readings are back. A limited number in May. Catch them while they're there. Go to funastrology.com and book yours today. Happy Monday to you, and thanks for joining us. May 17th. We're about out of Taurus soap, you guys. <laughs> Taurus going to be like gasoline in North Carolina on Thursday. In fact, we have a big sign change this week as the sun moves into Gemini. But before we get into that, I would like to make an announcement that I told you was coming, and I got it all rolled out, and it's there, and it's ready for you. Readings are back for just a very short little window. I've got them only for this week and a wee little bit of next. I think I've mentioned that the way that I can do readings the best is you've got to combine the intuitive piece. And if my mind is running, running, running on 10,000 other things, then I'm not even going to try to do it because it's not fair. So I've blocked this time with a 100% commitment to sit with the charts. So if you would like to book a reading, just go to funastrology.com, go down to the products, and there is a category tab for readings. Just click on that. It'll take you right to the product. You're able to see the calendar and then book and then pay, and then we're good. Send your birth info and we'll get together on Zoom. Now, when those fill up, I'll pull the product down. I'll get those delivered, reevaluate, reassess, see how it worked, tweak, and then put it back up. So it will be back up probably toward the end of May, like after the Memorial Day holiday in the U.S., that kind of time frame. We'll get it back up. Let's get back up to today's sky. The moon begins in Cancer, but it moves into Leo at 8.43 this morning Eastern time. And after a six and about a half hour void, of course, that began this morning at 2.22 a.m. So for those of you, at least on the eastern side of the United States, you are waking up to a void, of course, moon that quickly dissipates into a Leo moon. You know, it kind of turns out that this weekend was a time to heal and regress a little bit and kind of get ourselves back together. And now it might be to step out on this Monday morning after that moon ingresses into Leo and let yourself roar again. Put some pep and power back in your step because you've got the universe behind you on that one. Now, remember, Jupiter is back in Pisces and everybody's trying to embellish and lovey-dovey on that. And we should. And remember, Jupiter will expand what's there. So you want to make sure that what's there is what you want expanded. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Eugene, right? It's like uh, if you got something on the wrong side. So I look at the financial charts this morning and I see the equities market is expanding in an upward direction. And Bitcoin is still trying to decide what it wants to do. But right now has been pointing south, at least when I'm recording this. And I only mention that to say I know nothing about the Bitcoin stuff. I have a friend who does, and they're getting ready to start a YouTube channel. And when they get that up and launched, I'm going to be referring you to that because he has a lot of great information. And the whole concept of his YouTube channel is to help people stay safe and be able to do it profitably like he has been able to. But I'm not the guy. I just look at the stock chart and I go, okay, that's pointing south. And I look at the equities and I go, wow, Friday was a big day up. And here's why I bring that up, because Venus is in Gemini. That should be an overall positive. And Venus is going to be conjuncting the north node of the moon today, which, of course, means it will oppose the south node. That'll be interesting to watch. That's an afternoon transit. That's at 438 this afternoon. But at 548 this morning, so for you real early birds, you're catching this one. But most of today will be with the sun trining Pluto, and that's a big positive for the markets. Now, where the sun trining Pluto could show up in our life is one added power to something that you're already doing. So if you need a power punch today, you've got it in a positive way. If you're not resisting what Pluto is trying to do in your life, which is transform things. So just make sure as you do your check, your internal intuitive check, your gut check, if you will, that you're on the right side of Pluto's work, which is leading you to spiritual growth, healing your karma, leading you to into soul growth. If you're on the right side of that and not resisting that process, then you've got some extra power. 
And that will last for a couple, three days. And then tomorrow, Venus will be in a sextile with Chiron. And that will be another interesting one, at least from a karmic perspective as well. So some karma work going on today and tomorrow. Some Venus money love work going on today and tomorrow. Some extra power if you got it. Mars still grumpy in cancer, but almost halfway through. And we've got a bunch of cool stuff on the website. So go check it out. Speak pipe up at the top if you'd like to leave a question or a message. And then check out the products. We've got all those reports. And then we've got readings. So a lot of stuff to play around with in the world of fun astrology. Thanks for spending some of your day with me. I wish you love and the very best. TGIM. Thank goodness it's Monday. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.